Welcome back folks, Jason Hoppy here to show you how to create a really simple neon glow look, super fast. I'm doing this on a black background so you can see this neon look a little bit better. I'm going to go and create a new layer, which is where our neon is going to be built. I'm going to grab my elliptical marquee tool and I'm going to draw a circle. You can draw any shape that you want. And then I'm going to go under the Edit menu, and I'm going to add a stroke to that selection. I'm going to do it about 15 points, 15 pixels, and I'm going to pick a really bright color here, and I want it to be in the center of my circle. And I click OK, and it gives me that glow. I'm going to do Command-D to deselect, and there is my glow effect right here. Now what I want to do is I'm going to duplicate this, layer. So I'm going to do Command or Control J. So I've got this neon copy right here. And I'm going to go into the filter menu. I'm going to choose Blur. And I want to apply a Gaussian Blur to this. And I'm going to do it probably about 20 pixels here based on the size of my circle. Now I'm going to go back to my original neon. And in order to make neon look um, like it actually glows, we're going to do a special effect on this. So go down to the bottom of your effects, and we're going to create an inner glow on the original neon. Not the one that we went ahead and blurred, but on the original one. And when we do this layer effect, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an inner glow. I'm going to use white as my color. And you can control the opacity here. Here I have it about 70%, and you can see that kind of glow that it gets. And then I've set the choke to a very low number, and the choke is basically what's going to, you can see how that kind of creates that harder edge right there. I keep a low number, but you can see what it does, so set it to whatever look that you want for the neon. And then a relatively small size here. If you set it too big, this color will engulf the entire shape, so I'm just going to keep it fairly low. Lastly, I'm going to go down to the quality here, and... Um, initially, the contour here is a flat contour that you have selected. I'm going to go ahead and select the slightly rounded contour to kind of create a little bit more of a perception of a rounded shape. Now we're going to go back to this copy that I had, that I had blurred here, and I'm going to, in order to get this blur to appear more around the neon, I'm going to select in my blurred copy here, and I'm just going to do Command or Control J several times, so you can get that multiple um, duplicate layer effect. Now you'll notice that I still have my neon on the background right here. And I do that because this glow kind of is, it's got this intense glow to neon. So it does kind of hide that little inner glow effect a little bit. And you may want to go back to your inner glow, double click on it, and adjust it, the opacity, to bump that up a little bit more if you'd like that to show through. So this is one of these interesting cases where the kind of the blurred effect is on top of the original neon. But that's pretty much how you can go in and create this cool neon effect.